Hi, this is Borns, also known as City Fursuits. A few months ago, I talked about my Nekomimi fursuit head. Turns out, I talked a little too much, showed too little, and was pretty inaccurate, too. So I decided to redo the whole thing. So, here we go. First, I'm going to talk about how the fursuit head has no ears to begin with. As you can see here, there are holes in the fursuit head, and that's where the little podium things stick out. You can also see where the fur is a little matted uh, right where the ears are, but that's not going to matter once the ears are in, or the headset is in. So first we're going to put the headset inside of the head. As you can see, it's basically all held together with Velcro. You put the things in there, and they stick through the holes where the ears should go. This little part comes off, and as you can see, the Velcro is two little pieces with a gap in the middle. This actually matches the gap in the middle of the Nekomimi headset itself. It keeps it in place so it will be prevented from moving forward or back. However, this doesn't prevent it from moving side to side. Anyway, as soon as you get the, the headset in there, you pull this back and you can put it over your head. But of course, doing it this way takes a really long time and you don't always get a good result. Cause if we turn the head over, you can see that the podiums stick out really unevenly, and then it'll get you a result kind of like this if you're not paying attention. This is actually what happened the very first time I put on the Nekomimi headset. Since putting the Nekomimi headset inside of the fursuit head is very time consuming and doesn't often give good results in the first try, I've started putting the headset on my head first and putting the fursuit head over that. Of course, this is actually kind of dangerous because you have to align everything perfectly or else you run the risk messing up the alignment on the Nekomimi headset itself. But it is less time consuming and it works a lot better. As you can see, the podiums stick out of the ears pretty easily and even after that it's just a matter of putting the fursuit ears on top of the podiums and then turning the headset on. Then you get results that look like this. It's actually pretty cool and why I like going to cons with it. Is. But let's say I don't want to use the Nekomimi headset. As we've already seen, it's pretty lopsided and can move around. Well, that's what these little podium things are for. The podiums are made out of the same material as the little podiums on the Nekomimi headset itself. So the fastening mechanism for the fursuit ears is exactly the same and works for both types. Wearing the podiums without the headset is actually a little more comfortable because of these big foam pads that are in the fursuit head when you put them in. They also stay in place a lot better and don't move around. Now, wearing a fursuit head with this headset inside is hard enough, but then you have this little forehead sensor which can easily become tilted or start digging into your head. This poses a problem because you have to take the fursuit head off to fix it. So once I get it on, it's such a huge difficulty that I just want to keep it on. And so I'll live with it even though this little sensor is digging into my head you end up with this really painful headache and red dot in your forehead. It can leave a bruise if you wear the fursuit head for too long. But it's not even just the forehead sensor. I've owned this fursuit head since 2014, and I'm already on my third Nekomimi headset because the past two have died. The ears being this big probably doesn't help, but neither does the constant readjusting to make sure that they're on correctly or the pulling on or pulling off with all the Velcro. Not to mention that the headset takes four double A's which the thing eats like candy. But even given all the problems and the lengthy amount of time it takes to put the thing on and off, I love the reaction people give me when I wear it. So, I mean, I am going to keep wearing it, despite how bad it is. I wouldn't recommend it for other people, but really, at the end of the day, I said it in my last video best. So, I'll just replay that. So, yeah, you definitely have to make sure everything's just so. Uh, otherwise, you can easily hurt yourself or your fursuit with this Nekomimi headset. I mean, I definitely don't regret getting this at all, uh, but it has been a whole lot more work and money to maintain than I originally thought. But although I wouldn't recommend it to other people, there are alternatives. You could fashion your own ears with an Arduino. In fact, that's what I plan to do for my next upgrade. So that's the Nekomimi fursuit head uh, by Shark19. Hope this video was informative.